multiplying decimals. Math 5. What I need to know. This module was designed and written with you in mind. It is here to help you master the multiplying decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digit full numbers. The module is composed of one lesson only. Lesson 1. Multiplying decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digits whole numbers. Lesson 2. Multiplying decimals with factors up to two decimal places. Lesson 3. Estimating the products of decimal numbers with reasonable results. What I know. Compute and encircle the letter of the correct answer. Lesson 1. Multiplies decimal up to two decimal places by one to two digits whole numbers. Great day learners! I am your partner in learning. I'm Lisa. As a learner, we must know how to share our blessings to everyone, like giving food to others, sharing our ideas, and showing our kindness to all. Our foremost task for this learning material is to multiply decimal numbers. This material has prepared various activities to test your skills and broaden your knowledge. So come on, what are you waiting for? What's in? Let's start your day with a drill. It's all about multiplying numbers. It's a show me board activity. Remember, NST is a best policy. Are you ready learners? What's in review? Determine the number of decimal places in each decimal. What's new? This time I will give you an activity on how to write decimal numbers using the place value chart. Three learners were asked to write three ten thousands as a decimal. These learners are as follows. Analysis. Use the place value chart to help the learners find out who got the correct answer. Place value and decimal. What is it? Today, we will start a new lesson with the following situation. A shoe store sells different kinds of shoes. One day, it sold 25 pairs of sneakers at 105.55 pesos a pair. How much was the total sales for the sneakers sold? Understand. What is asked? What are the given facts? Strategy. Use multiplication to find the total amount for which the 25 pairs of sneakers were sold. What's more? Solve the problem below and encircle the letter of the correct answer. What I have learned. Multiplying decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digits. Step 1. Understand. What is asked? What are the given facts? Step 2. Plan. Strategy. Use multiplication. Step 3. Solve. In multiplying decimals by a whole number, multiply them as whole number then simply count the number of decimal places of the factors to determine the numbers of decimal in the product.
Solve each problem and circle the letter of the correct answer. Assessment. In this activity, you are going to compute and encircle the letter of the correct answer. Additional activities. Solve and encircle the letter of the correct answer. What I know. Read the questions thoroughly and write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided before the number. What I know. Answer key. Lesson 2. Multiplying decimals with factors up to two decimal places. What's in? In this lesson, you will be able to multiply decimal with factors up to two decimal places. Let's start your day with a drill. It's all about determining the product mentally. Remember, honesty is the best policy. Drill, think fast. Let's start a game. Review. Complete the factor in two decimal places. Determining the product mentally. What's new? Here is the picture. Please tell something about it. Is your answer about a farmer in his garden? That is absolutely right. It is about a farmer planting vegetables in his garden. Would you do the same also? What is it? A farmer has three onion garden plots of which 0.3 hectare is planted with red big onions, 0.3 with white onions, and 0.3 hectare with native onions. How large is a farmer's garden? In multiplying decimals, the number of decimal places in the product is the same as the total number of decimal places in all factors. This time we are going to solve the problem. The exchange rate of a US dollar to the Philippine peso at a certain time was 43.26 pesos. What was the value of 415.42 US dollars in the pesos? Let's answer the problem. What I have learned. What I can do? Find the product. Assessment. Read the questions thoroughly and write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided before the number. Fill in the data in the table. Okay, learners, your time is up. Were you able to answer it? Is it hard or easy? I think it's too easy, isn't it? You will just multiply the two decimal numbers. Am I correct, learners? Enrichment. Give the missing factor. What I know, read carefully and understand. Write the letter of the correct answer. Okay. 
Lesson 3. Estimating the products of the decimal numbers with reasonable results. What's in? The drill. Estimating the product of decimal numbers. Give the nearest whole number to the product of decimal numbers. Find the product. What's new? Now something about the face mask. Do you have a face mask? Why should people wear a face mask, especially in the crowded places? What is Here are the other examples. What I have learned. How do we estimate? In estimating the product, Round each decimal to the nearest whole number before multiplying. The smaller the place value to which you round the numbers, the more accurate the estimate will be to the actual answer. To round a decimal number, determine first the rounding place and the digit to the right of the rounding place. If the digit to the right of the rounding place is 5 or greater, add 1 to the rounding place, while less than 5 means Retaining the digit in the rounding place. What I can do? I can do it. Round each factor to the greatest place value and estimate each product. Assessment. Round decimal numbers to the nearest whole numbers. Read carefully and understand. Write the letter of the correct answer. Additional activities. Solve the following. Answer key. Thanks for watching.